Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and I'm so blessed to be opportuned by the Spirit of God to be bringing His truth to you today. Now, this is a new week and today is the last day of the month of October, meaning from tonight, for, for us in this time zone, we are entering a new month, entering the month of November. Now, I know God has great things in store for us. That's why I want to specially invite you tonight for our 24-hour prayer and fasting meeting. And then we pray at every watch. And this prayer meeting holds via Zoom. So it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what part of the world you are, you can actually join us in this prayer meeting. As long as you can connect to Zoom. If you don't have Zoom, you can download it free on your phone. And the link is going to be sent to you. If you don't get it, please uh, make sure you contact us and we will send it across to you. Now, I believe in my heart that there are great things God has in store for the month of November and December. Now, the Lord has told us that this is our season of shining. So everything He is doing in our lives is to produce or give us the ability to shine. So don't miss the meeting that is going to start tonight at 12 midnight. And then that's when we're going to have our first prayer meeting. And after that, we'll have our next prayer meeting at 3 a.m. And then we're going to have the next one at 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m., which is the last watch of the, uh, of the day that's on the first. Plan for this. Plan for this. And don't miss anything. Now, each prayer session lasts for about 40 minutes. So you can, you can wake up, join us, and then you can go back to sleep. Because maybe you, some of you have to get to work, you know, tomorrow within work, create that time for prayer. But listen, I appeal to you, don't miss this. It's going to bless you. Praise God. Now, before we go into what I have in my heart to share with you today, can we call for that daily bread? Now, listen, today is the last day of the month. I don't know if you've been receiving your daily bread. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Join us right now as we make that request. Say, Father, I demand right now for my daily bread. I receive it and everything I may have missed in the month of October, I receive it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, if you remember last week, we began to talk about prayer. And I'm not done with that yet because it's important we understand this thing. Remember I told you, the Lord began to talk to me that many of my children don't pray. They think they are praying, but they don't pray. And when the Lord began to explain this to me, I realized that, look, there's so much work we still have or we still need to do. And I was explaining last week about praying in the Spirit, praying in other tongues. Why it is very, very important and don't listen to anyone who tells you or who tries to play down on the importance of praying in tongues. Rather, if you don't pray in tongues, listen to people who will inspire you to do so. That will be for your benefit. Because when you begin to pray in tongues, you are doing so for your own benefit. Paul says, if I pray in tongues, I may define myself. He who prays an unknown tongue edifies himself. 
Now you need to edify yourself before you even think of going to edify anybody. See that now. Now why? How? Edify means to build up. See that? So if I pray in tongues, I'm edifying myself. I was explaining to you on Friday last week that you can get to that place where amongst your friends, you begin to talk in the spirit. I give an example of Jesus praying, Jesus rejoicing in the spirit. And I said, he rejoiced. How did he rejoice in the spirit? He rejoiced in the spirit. He was excited and he authored some words in other tongues. And that's why the writer said he did it. He did his rejoicing in the spirit. Let me read that scripture to you so you see it and not just be trying to imagine these things in your head. Look. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Luke chapter 10. Now, verse 21. Okay, let me read from verse 17 so you understand how the story goes. Then the 70 rejoiced. Now, Jesus had sent out 70 of his disciples to go into different cities and villages to preach the gospel. Then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Did you see that? He says, nothing shall by any means, meaning, <laughs> have you ever considered that statement Jesus made? Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Don't come tell him, oh, somebody hurts me. Don't come tell him, oh, that thing hurts me. Jesus said, I've given you the kind of authority that no." shall by any means hurt you. Anyway, just meditate on that later. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Now look at verse 21. That's what we're going to. In that hour, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Spirit and said i love this the writer says jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said what did he say i thank you father lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes even so father for so it seemed good in your sight all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son will reveal him. And then he turns to his disciples and said, Privately, blessed are your eyes which see these things. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see, and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear, and have not heard. Now, what happened here? I'll explain to you. So, when they brought this whole news to Jesus, oh wow, they were just sharing testimonies and testimony. Now, imagine when Jesus was sending out these guys, and he blessed them and, and, and maybe laid hands on them and sent them go two by two. Imagine the thought going through his heart Father, please help them. Please help them. Because this is their first personal ministry experience and so they left and, and Jesus I'm sure must have been praying for them all that while so when they came back with all these testimonies 
you I, you mean I wasn't there with you and you knew what to do ah master we knew what to do one demon was just trying to do anyhow we just decided I mean we just silenced him and he came out of the person in, in no time whoa and the Bible said Jesus rejoiced in the spirit what do you think happened there Jesus listening to them just went lay I thank you father now that's exactly what happened he spoke in other tongues in rejoicing see just like we do today now if you've not seen a believer who who exclaimed in tongues before i wonder where you live praise god yeah so now he 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 blessed the lord in the spirits how did he do that he blessed the lord in tongues so we can bless in the spirit that's blessing in tongues now, when you bless in the Spirit, it is important, like for example, what Jesus did here. He rejoiced in the Spirit, but then he still spoke words in the understanding. Now, these words he spoke in the understanding most likely is the interpretation of what he said in the Spirit. So, let me just demonstrate this to you now. Now, I'm going to read what he said, but then watch this now. He, 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 he listening to all those testimonies, and then Jesus went, Ha ha! Hey! Sai God no go manio fai shu jai gadaya. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and the one to whom the Son will reveal him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Did you see that now? And that's what happened. And so the disciples, now, now you know, you know. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost came, the Bible says they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, they were not complete strangers to speaking in tongues. You need to understand this. Because they've seen Jesus do it many times. Now, Jesus wouldn't just have said, this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. They will speak in tongues. If they hadn't known what speaking in tongues was, Jesus must have taught them. They must have seen him do it. I believe in my heart that when the disciples went to Jesus and said, teach us how to pray. I believe in my heart. They wanted Jesus to teach them how to speak in tongues. He said, how do you know that? Yeah, because now they see Jesus pray and they liked it, but they couldn't do it. So they went to Jesus and said, Master, teach us how to pray. And Jesus, knowing that you cannot communicate these things by teaching it. You can't, you can't, you can't. It wasn't yet time for them to receive the Holy Ghost and begin to speak in other tongues. It wasn't yet time. So he taught them what they needed at that level I, got, I i just feel in my spirit when jesus was done you know they must have looked at themselves and like ah oh, yeah okay no problem you know yeah well because jesus after that began to teach them about the holy Spirit. see that now so there are many things the bible says when jesus rose from there he spent 40 days teaching the disciples things pertaining the kingdom of god what do you think he was teaching them then? He was teaching them how to walk in the Spirit, how to trust the Holy Spirit. He was teaching them they had seen him demonstrated before. So when the Holy Ghost came and he began to give them utterance, it was so easy for them to yield and open their mouth to speak. And they kept on speaking and just glorifying and magnifying the Lord. What a beautiful experience. And let me tell you the truth, even right now, if you are ready, the same spirit that was on that was there that came upon them and filled them on the day of Pentecost, that same spirit is available where you are right now. If you can just lift up your hands 
and open your hearts. The Spirit of God is going to rest upon you and fill you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, right now, as, as, as He fills you, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. You begin to feel that welling in your spirit. You begin to feel words come to your mouth. Don't be afraid to speak it. Open your mouth and speak. It doesn't matter how it sounds. Just go ahead and speak. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, remasiende fli koparusi alagadeli. Anigo bo vredni shikali kabunde saigalia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For your truth is marching on day after day. And your children are coming to the place of truth. And they are manifesting your truth as light. That the whole world will see light. And darkness will be expelled. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. Don't let anything stop you enjoy it it's yours jesus was given to you to enjoy his presence thank you lord jesus oh father we give you praise we just give you praise if you're listening to me right now the anointing of god is so strong where you are whatever you will ask him for right now can you open your mouth and begin to ask and watch him do that thing that you ask for him from him. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Now, don't forget tonight. Now, now just think about it. We are going to be expressing these things when we begin to pray tonight at 12 midnight. So don't miss the prayer meeting. Set your alarm, rest before the time so that you will be fully alert. The Lord is going to do great things while we pray. And I assure you, November is going to be a different month, month altogether. And it's going to be good for you. Praise God. My time is up. But I bless God for you. I'm looking forward to seeing you this evening. God bless you. Bye.